hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to create a interactive login screen so but the twist here is we are going to use AI to create our login screen so as you see we have the new player which is deep seek okay so as you can see I have this chat GPT and deep seek I have both logged in and what I have done is I have told chat GPT that you are an expert in Flutter so create a beautiful login screen which is interactive the same thing I have told to deep seek but at first as you can see the deep seek struggled a little bit as the servers were busy so in the second attempt it provided me a flutter login screens code okay so let's check it out uh, what are the results so first we are going to see the deep seek result okay so as you can see this is the login screen code we are going to copy this code so code is been copied okay so now uh, let's go and i have created these two files for the compare reason okay so i will paste this code here and as you can see okay we have all this code here we will simply remove this as we have our login screen we will make a little bit changes as deep seek login screen okay so this will be our name of our login screen okay. we will change the state as well change here change here login screen and we are done okay so let's save the app so now we are going to use this our deep seek login screen go to our main and inside our home we are going to provide our deep seek login screen okay so i have our deep seek login screen and we have saved our application now as you can see it is saying that we have some duplicate widget tree so let's hot restart our application to see whether this thing is working or not properly okay so here we have some is password visible boolean variable form for our form email controller password controller okay okay so i think the issue is not getting resolved we will again restart our application and check okay okay so we have our login screen up and running so as you can see we have our email controller password controller it has provided our text editing controllers as well uh, we have this nice little gradient background so as you can see it has used container box decoration and a little bit linear gradient okay and we have our text we have a text form field for our email we have size box we have again a text form field for our password and it has also provided us with some validations so let's check it out we'll click on this login button so as you can see it is showing some errors okay so we'll simply put something here inside email and try clicking on login again okay so it is saying that please enter a valid email so it has given us a proper validations as well okay so let's check if this is our email and we will put something password we can show hide and hide our password as well and when we are clicking on login okay it is showing us a toast or a snack saying that we have logged in okay the forward password button is also clickable okay so this is what the deep seek has provided us let's go and check what gpt has provided us so here is the code for gpt 
so this is the code we will simply go and copy this code again and let's go and paste it inside our GPT login screen okay so we have pasted we are getting some errors as you can see uh, we will remove this and here as you can see we have two different imports as well which is google fonts and flutter animate okay so it is asking us to import few different plugins okay so let's go and go to pub.dev okay so here we will simply search google fonts okay so go to installing we will simply copy this dependency and we will go to our code go to popspec.jammer and save the application so it will run the command flutter pub catch and it will get the dependencies until it get the dependencies we will also check flutter animate flutter animate dependency okay so as you can see okay flutter animate so here it is flutter animate again go to installing copy this dependencies okay so now paste it here run pub get command and we will also get this thing inside our app okay so now we have this both packages google font and flutter animate so as you can see the errors have been resolved we are not getting any red lines as google font and flutter animate we have imported we will change the name to let's say gpt login screen okay gpt login screen we will make the same changes as we had made to other screen okay so let's change the name okay we will save the app and now we are going to use this gpt login screen inside our main dot dot simply replace this import the file we will save the application okay so gpt has provided us this okay so as you can see uh, we have a similar background that is a gradient as you can see we ha also have this a little nice gradient button okay so if you have observed i will restart the application and you can check we have nice little animation on our login screen so it's because of our flutter animate package so it has used background color gray and as you can see we have this text and we have used dot animate dot fed and it has also filled few custom widgets as you can see the build text field and inside it is passed email controller and password controller here you can change the name as well okay so this is our text form field this is our login button okay and also it is been animated i will click on this button okay so nothing is happening as you can see uh, we are not getting any animation okay so as such now uh, as you can see the difference uh, the chat gpt hasn't provided us with any validations or but it has built a custom widget uh, which for our text form field so the code has been little bit optimized but without the validations and deep sync as you can see it has also provided a fairly good output as you can see we have a very nice code 
which can be used to create screens in a seconds as you can see so so this is it hope you can like this video uh, as you can see we can create a beautiful screens with the help of AI in minutes so this is the demonstration of login screen using AI using chat GPT and DeepSeek in our video so hope you found this video interesting do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video